pick it up. So he's not able to advance. But John Jaso had a pitch out. They sniffed it out. And he launched the throw to center field. Jaso made a great throw to get Alex Rios in the first inning. But as you mentioned, Buzz, that was the, only the second time all year that they've thrown anybody out. Runners were 15 out of 16 coming into the game. And in love to get an insurance run. I don't know which was harder, the pitch or the swing. Both left a residue. Probably some smiles on the dud on the Dodge dugout. Boy, he, he really he, he slipped on a banana right there. Oops. Oops. <laughs> He's swinging at everything right now, regardless of what Peralta throws up there. <laughs> Alvarez always entertaining. Well, you you pointed that out at the very beginning. You said the entertaining Henderson Alvarez. He, he puts a smile on his his face and everybody. Here's the one strike pitch to Pablo. There goes Belt. The pitch is inside. The throw down to second base goes into center field. Belt gets up after his slide and he moves over to third. Pablo stumbled right across the plate after his swing and a miss. Sanchez had to backhand that ball. It was down and in. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what Pablo was doing swinging at that when the ball was already by him when he swung at it. That was a bizarre. I, I, Pablo, I guess he was jumping out of the way of it, but as he did, he he actually swung the bat. I, I think he had started to check the swing. If it wasn't before, it is now. That was like a chiropractic move. Well, he lost the helmet completely this time. Went partially askew the first time, and completely gone this time. Another little cutter away. Nope, it just became the game plan. It was really moving well for him. Oh my oh, what? Late, late swing by <laughs> Hamilton as he strikes out. <laughs> what was that? That's ball right down the middle. Yeah, he's leaning over, taking a good look at it, and then just right at the end goes, wait a minute. That may be the worst major league swing I've ever witnessed. Very hard. 6'3, 220 pounds. Actually, 225 pounds. And there's the hard cut again from Gomez. And up there, just trying to make contact, uh -huh. Matt. <laughs> Free and easy. Shortening up that swing, doing the splits. And the 2 1. Swung wow. at it. That ball pitch. bounced a couple of feet off the plate. It's in front of the plate, and it was almost in the left-handed batter's box, and he wow. swung at it. Watch this. Holy smokes. <laughs> Bit of struck out looking in the second. Runs up. <laughs> he ran up, and that's what he was looking for. Well, I guess the, the theory was run up and try and hit it before it breaks. Hey, yeah. And you still wouldn't be winning with that kind of uh, lack of run support. Chu runs and the ball is fouled off. And now he's saying it was hit. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. The home plate umpire, Toby Basner, saying it hit him, but he swung. Yeah. And you can't challenge it. I don't think you can challenge this. So they're going to have, you know, Jeff Nelson, the, the voice of reason, comes in from second, and they're going to call the other umpires. So you tell you, it's a high curveball, I mean, way out of the zone, and he hit it. Yeah, it's a foul ball, and it didn't even come close to hitting Now, but in doing that, he did Joseph interfere, because if he did, so that's the point. He's, so if he swung, did he hit the glove? I don't think he hit the glove. But the ball, he definitely hit the ball. Does that about once a day. Swings out of his helmet. It's always fun to see. Brings a smile to your face. Yeah, good sliders will do that to you. <laughs> he swings hard. This is a pretty good pitch by Adovino, knowing that Gomez is going to be hacking first pitch. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he went down to his knees swinging at that pitch. The changeup had him so fooled and off balance 
He swung and missed and wound up on his knees. Goodness. And then beyond into college, 95, 96, 97. If all of us say that that's going on too much, and you're not the only one. I mean, we hear it from general managers. We hear it from scouts. We're putting too much stock in the radar gun. Why does this business continue to do it? Because it's easy to, to show that a, a kid who throws harder is going to have initial better success than a kid that doesn't throw hard. I mean, you have to have the rest of the package. I mean, there, there's a breaking ball right there. I mean, that's how good a breaking ball that is, that you got Brandon Phillips swinging a one that is a 56-footer. Ball she wrote. Cassia with the save. Bumgarner, the win, goes to 3-0. and and Clevenger is injured. And has not moved since that swing and a miss. Reach for his back. Yeah. Yeah, the left side of Steve Clevenger. It was a foul tip. Posey holds on. The game is over. I have never seen this or the likes of this. Steve Clevenger holding the left side of his back right below the five in the 51. Looked like an oblique strain. I don't know, but boy. Cass save for the Cubs. Indeed it is. Cassia, a two-inning save to give Madison Bumgarner the win. He goes to 3-0. and oh. Timmy enjoyed it, my friend. My, me too, Tom. And certainly our thoughts As to always. Mr. Clevenger for Tim McCarver. Look out, that goes flying. Throw it out to about the seven yard line. Might be the uh, <laughs> new clubhouse leader. And take a look at it. Pretty good throw. There's some fans rooting for their quarterback to be that accurate. Catcher set up way off the outside corner. And a hit and run on, and there's that up and away pitch. Altuve gets a piece, and it just beats up Torinos. Did he jump? I think I, he may I have. Think he jumped. Wow. And he got the top of the ball. Imagine that. He is off the ground and makes contact. And he got the top of the ball. I want to add. <laughs> He's going on. Meanwhile, Torinos that. takes the brunt of it, but. He's at his high for the season. Here comes the 2 1. Oh, he swung so oh. hard he went right down on his back. <laughs> Wait, can you swing any harder I than mean, that? I mean, my goodness. Well, the ground came out from underneath him, he said. Talk about leaving Earth. Wow. He kind of slid into that. He moved his feet to get in position to leave Earth, and he left Earth all right. Well, Hanley's talking about that batter's box. You said giving way a little bit there. Yeah. He takes some big swings, but. But when you have a big swing and you fall down, it's like you're swung too hard, right? And Shield struck him out in the third inning. After one of our telecasts, look out. Oh. Whoa. And thankfully, everyone's all right. Flowers doesn't even ask for the bat back. Oh he gets man, a new one from the bat boy. Boy, talk about a twirly bird. That, that get looked like a, a guy got a bat sandwich right there. Fortunately, not in his grill though, but right in his chest. Look at that. And he lost his beer. <laughs> Darn it. He wanted the souvenir. You can always get him another beer. Greg Gibson, the home plate umpire, motioning to both players. And the Dodgers celebrating in their dugout. That's into the right field corner. Robinson. Catch for out number one. Well, I am a wizard from the future. Boom. I'm a real doctor. If you had your walk-up music created, who would compose it and or sing it, and what kind of music would it be? Uh, you know what? That's a good question.